Uh, oh, oh, so it was me and Charmander, our cannibal friend Ducklet, Superstar Malamar, Tyrantrum, Soul Eater Shedinja, and the Perserker himself, and we were locked in an epic battle of devastating proportions that is devastating. Uh, we were uh, juking and jucking, hicking and hucking, rejecting and prospecting through the greatest dance battle your eyes couldn't believe. And do you know what song came on, Hannah? Um, uh, Toxic by Britney Spears. That's right. And I pummeled that rival 10-year-old bug trainer into the dirt with a series of roundhouse kicks because I can't dance for shit. And, you know... Oh, but you, you can do some roundhouses? That's right. And I looked down at his little feeble baby face corpse, and I said, I whispered gently into his ear, Don't you know that you're toxic? And then I walked away. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Pokemon After Dark Rye. Um, this is a no-holds-barred, no-nothing podcast where we talk about Pokemon and hurt the ones we love. I don't know why I'm sounding the way I'm currently sounding right now. I promise you I'm not on the drugs, but my name is Brett. Uh, if you're on the video version, you could see what Hannah just mouthed with her lips. She said it like she's trying to say she's on drugs, but uh, on the, the on the other side of the screen with, with all the drugs and all the, all the empty corners of her home, um, the skies, the Star Wars figures, it's Hannah. It's me. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Brett. How are you? I'm great. I'm on the drugs. <laughs> so the, we're on the drugs now. Uh, hey, happy new year. Happy new year. We, we finally it. made it. We made it. Things are going to be different this year. Yeah. Nothing bad no. is going to happen. <laughs> no. Nothing bad will ever happen. It'll be the exact opposite of 2020. All good things. Instead of like a pandemic with a sickness, it'll be like everybody hits the lottery, but in different ways. So instead of money, you might get puppies or something. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass at this point. Puppies cost money. But wouldn't you be, wouldn't it be amazing if like, you went to the doctor and the doctor came out of the back room with like a clipboard looking very stern and goes, Hannah, I'm so sorry, but you've been diagnosed with a puppy. And then he just pulls a puppy out of his coat and hands it to you. <laughs> Dozer would probably be very jealous. No, he'd be happy for his little brother, bro, bro, or so sis. Yes, he'd be a good, no. big, he'd be a good big broder. All broder. <laughs> broder so uh what have you been up to lately i've been working it has been crazy at work um i actually so i've been trying so hard to find a shiny woo bat or a shiny there's a shiny something else that i wanted but guess what i got finally you got I'll give you a hint. Okay. Is it an Ekans? Slippery <laughs> snake? What the heckins? No. Damn it. I I forget what it's called now. Uh oh. Slight slight. Sviper? Yeah, Sviper. Oh, you. the David with the David Bowie makeup going across yeah. the side of the face. That's an yeah. awesome shiny. That's a really great shiny. It shirt. is. It's adorable. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. I know you have two, but thank you. Three. Three. <laughs> uh, moving on. Um, no shinies for me. I have not gotten one since last we revealed whatever shinies that we it was that we got. Um, I haven't. Well, I guess I forgot to say the last time we were on the show, I actually hatched a shiny. What's a small version of Jinx? Smooch him. Yeah, I had just shiny schmoochum, a shiny schmoochum. Shiny schmoochum shekstar. Oh my god. It's um, a shiny schmoochum schmekstar. I was in Her Majesty's Secret Service with a shiny schmoochum schmekstrash. I'll say that 10 times <laughs> fast. I can't, I can't do it. I couldn't do that either. Uh, um, well, congrats on your, your shiny hatch. Man, you don't get shiny hatches a lot. 
Like, I think mm-hmm. I've had one. Honestly, I've maybe had, two. I've had a couple. Really? Yeah, I think maybe I've had two, but for sure I've had I've had sh- at least one. But yeah. So I hatched speaking of hatching things, I hatched something um that's pretty good that I will not reveal on the show, Hannah, but I wanted to tease you with the tantalizing um tater tot, a little morsel of mystery, a little uh, uh surprise snackaroo for you to uh, nibble on like a little squirrel like a... don't put your fingers in your mouth it's covid it's my own fingers in my own home i don't care you still don't put your fingers oh, in your i'm mouth. gonna touch you through the screen <laughs> is it like i'm whispering in your ear when i whisper to the microphone <laughs> no. Ew. The, the, you heard the sheep Screaming, Clarice says you skinned their faces off and made strudels. I actually, I actually made strudels yesterday. I out made apple sheep, you monster. Not out of sheep. I made apple strudel. Um, well, speaking of butchering quotes, that I'm not gonna do any more quotes, but anyway, I, I did. We do have a lucky trade that we have not completed yet, and I've hatched this thing and I said, Ooh, Hannah. Hannah's getting it. So you're not, I'm not gonna tell you what it is until we're in the lobby to trade. And then what I'll, the fuck? And then really? We, yeah. I uh, so um I'll and then I'll better let have you, my name on it. And then I'll let you uh maybe I'll put my name on it. Then I'll then I'll let you finish off this little this little half story next time after we do that. Okay. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and reveal what I'm giving you on our lucky trade. I, I have didn't... When have you revealed it? I'm saying you already told me. I know, but oh. I'm telling the audience. Oh, I forgot people listen to us. <laughs> Usually it's you. You're the one that's like, oh, nobody listens to me. And I'm like, whatever. And then. Okay. So Brett is getting, since he's not going to reveal uh, what it's a secret I'm getting. It's a super, super secret. I have two Santa dials. Oh, <laughs> What? I'm giving you one. Stop acting like that or I won't give it to you. That's fine. Yeah, there. I'll give it to you. (laughs) Sorry. That's what she said. Um, (laughs) I couldn't, I couldn't, I'm sorry. I I was really sorry about that one. I just could not resist. I'll give it to you. Uh, So how are you doing with the capture challenge thingy? I completed it. Yeah. Thanks to your mom. But guess what? After we did that raid with, hi mom. Hi, mom. Um, after we did that raid with your mom, the next day I literally ran like three herf nerders, herf and Hey, you can't use that word. That's our word, said one Han Solo. I didn't say nerf herder. Oh, what'd you say? And that's from Family Guy. <laughs> that's from the Family Guy star. <laughs> close, close enough. <laughs> um, herf and I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like a German breakfast item. Herfinger. Do you mean a herdier? Herdier, yeah. <laughs> I I couldn't even figure out what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> yeah. Herfinger. Is that a t- is that a t-shirt? Herfinger? I don't know. We might get sued. Yeah, RIP um what the heckins? Uh, I might try to alter the design and see if we can get it put back up on the store and maybe Nintendo won't uh, DMCA our balls off. Uh, so yeah, if you were eyeballing a, an After Dark Rise shirt, you might want to get in on that son of a bitch. Although they didn't catch the heckins shirt for like a year. Yeah, so if you got one, you are one of the lucky few. It's a limited edition. <laughs> yep, it's definitely limited now. Uh, so yeah, uh, look fancy in a fancy shirt. Link in the description. So I finished the capture challenge and it took me all of 10 minutes, I think, to do. Um, I was just one of those lucky people, like after I got off of work and I was on my way to pick up my dog, I was on my parents' street and they have a fuckload of Pokemon that spawn on their street. So I literally just like slow down and just usually just shiny check. But on this particular drive down the street, I caught 
every single thing that I needed except for the herdier, which like you said, mom invited us to a herdier raid the next day and we finished it. So, so technically okay. not 10 minutes, but 99% done within like the first 10 minutes I got it done. So. Yeah. A lot of them hatched at work. So that was nice. I, I think this is a precursor to the Canto event that we're going to get here in a couple months with where all original 151 will be shiny and stuff. I think we're going to get more of these checklist type things that encourage you to catch different ones to like kind of like check them off a list. You know what I mean? Makes sense. So I think it's going to be for that later. So all 151 are going to be shinies. Yeah, they're all going to be shiny possible. Um, and depending on which ticket you get determines which ones are more likely to be shiny. Uh, oh, wait, then, fuck. That's the event thing that's in February? Is it February or March? I will look right now. Oh. I still haven't bought my ticket. It is February 20th. That is correct. From um, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah. local time, wherever you are. And then everyone will get a shiny Mew as a part of that as well. So, like, you're, you'll, oh. you'll at least get a shiny Mew out of it. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't really going for that but I think your eyeballs might have crossed there for a second ooh, like oof. my uh, eyes don't open far if, enough if we could it. pack if we could package that emotion and sell it we'd be rich oh um, never mind did they cross or <laughs> just like stupid you, and you too can watch <laughs> hannah do what she's doing on the youtube video link in the description um and then, uh, but until we get to that point, we got the Machop Community Challenge Community Day. Fuck me. Um, hi ya. Hi ya. This Saturday. Um, any thoughts on that? I'm excited. I need a shiny. I don't have a shiny I, either. Oh, I'm sorry. I did just evolve. Like, so you know, I've caught several shadow um, from like raids and stuff and not raids the team rocket stuff your head's gonna explode have you ever tried to look at your own eyes on the camera but you can't because when you look at the screen you're not looking at the camera yeah i know i gotta remember to look into the camera because it probably looks weird to people watching we're probably like Oh, definitely at the beginning of the show when I was like burying my hand in my face and I'm just like, oh, kill me, I host a fucking Pokemon show. Uh, yeah, I don't have a shiny of Machop either. Um, but more importantly, it'll be just good to get a couple of uh, really good Machamps under the belt because I only have a couple of Machamps. Yeah, so that's what the last... I don't have a four-star but I caught like a three star shadow and I'm like, oh sweet. If I evolve this, it's going to turn into a four star. Fuck no. It was like almost there. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. You hate to like, see it. Yeah. The HP bar didn't go all the way, even though. So like what the, Ooh, are we, are we taking bets on, on who catches more shinies? How many are you going to catch? I bet you'll catch more shinies than me. Oh, no, 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 no. I want numbers. <laughs> uh, okay. Are we going, are you going out, out, or are you staying at home? Um, I don't know what my plans are. I don't either. I don't either. So. Are we making plans now? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um. What's the weather supposed to be like? <laughs> <laughs> um, weather. Don't, they'll, they'll track you down if you tell them the weather. They'll they'll, they'll know how to find you. They'll pinpoint um, your location, no, Hannah. I'm not, I'm not going to tell them where I'm at. Take pictures of your feet from afar. Hey, if that would give me some extra money, like, I'd be... I don't think stalkers I'd pay their down. victims. Looks like Saturday, 37. Fuck. That's horrible. Uh, <sighs> no, and I don't want to turn off my ad blocker. You can. So, so how many do you think you'll catch, Shinies? 
Uh, seven. Uh, I'm gonna price is right you and say six is what I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch six. Usually they go over and price is right. Yeah, but I don't think I'm gonna catch as many as you. So I'm gonna go six and you'll go seven. Um, the loser has to suck the other one's butt. Ew, I don't like that. Mm, uh, they saw, moving on, they saw the uh, data mining thing where there's egg transparency going into the game. We don't know exactly what or how it's going to look, um, but hopefully they put like percentages for what Pokemon come out of the eggs. That would be amazing. It's uh, been a thing that, that the community's wanted forever. And it's pretty commonplace these days when for blue boxes to publish their drop rates so and that's essentially what eggs are our loot boxes so it's about time we get some kind of transparency on 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 them well and i feel like they should so they can't be dicking us around and we can I, actually do some math like I, yeah i mean silk road does math but they collect data from volunteers to try and come up with an accurate estimate and they I feel like they're mostly close, um, but it'll be nice to hear from the antic themselves. Like the player base shouldn't have to do that to get that, get that information. Right. Um, if you pay a dollar for an incubator to put on an egg, it'd be nice to know what your odds are to get something good out of that egg. I mean, it just feels seem it just seems like a nice thing to do. Um, I agree. Agree. Like I want to know when I get a strange egg. Uh, I, is it going to be 80% I'm going to get a Trubbish or is it going to be 89% I'm going to get a Trubbish? <laughs> and then it's just, you know. It'd be 99.9%. 90, 90% 90 for a Trubbish and then the extra 1% is all the other Pokemon. Um, yeah, something like that. And then just go ahead and give me my Trubbish. wonder uh, when they'll make Trubbish shiny. I don't know. I wish they would, just so that you would have a reason to get hopeful when you hatch one out of a strange egg. But there's also like a contest now for submitting your avatar in three Pokemon to become NPCs within the game so that people could fight you. Hannah, I wanted to know what your three Pokemon would be and like what your theme would be, because they they wanted you like your 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 avatar's outfit and maybe even your name. I don't know if your name would count, but I'm sure it'd probably help. And like your Pokemon to fit a theme, what would what would yours be? Okay, like good Pokemon to battle with. I don't know. Use your creativity. Damn. Um. Okay. So I I generally like my outfits. Like I feel like my outfits that I choose kind of represent what I wear. Like right now, my avatar is wearing a hoodie, sweatpants, and tennis shoes, and has a backpack. Um, I have recently purchased myself a backpack. It doesn't look like this. It has baby Yodas on it because I'm a fucking nerd. Um, and, my, and my head's in, head's in a pony. My hair is in a ponytail and I'm wearing a watch. Got a sports watch. Yeah. So that was fucking dumb and oh. I made it awkward. Um, anyway, <laughs> so the Pokemon I would pick... Well, I usually always use my shiny Mewtwo, because um, he's not too bad. I don't think they're going to let you... I don't think you can submit legendary or mythicals. Oh, I remember. The stipulation is they have to be from Kanto. I forgot about that part. Oh. Yeah. So uh, I'm assuming these NPCs are going to show up during the Kanto challenge, maybe? I don't know. Okay. So I what pick I? Um, Onyx, because he's just so cute. Um, Tangela and I choose Pikachu. I like it. Um, mine was going to be Charmander, of course, naturally. Uh, I was also going to choose Ducklet, but then Ducklet's not from Kanto, so that ruins that. Thanks a lot. And then my third was going to be either Shedinja or Berserker, but they're not from Kanto either. So I guess I would. Oh god, I don't even know. Charmander is definitely one of them. Um, jinx. <laughs> no, god no. No jinx. Um, fuck me in the face with a frying pan. Um, hmm. 
Oh, just just for the just for the sake of moving on, I'm gonna say uh, Diglett. Um, and do duo, not dojo, do duo. Why? Yes, tell us why. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hannah, That's... I think. What? Um, I don't know. I just picked mine because I like Onyx. He looks like a big. I don't want to say teddy bear, but. No. He definitely doesn't look like a teddy bear. I don't know how to describe it. He's just so big and lumbery, and he's like rocks. And I like rocks. I like rocks, too. Because my brain's made of them. <laughs> my brain is like a box that has no rocks. <laughs> um, so you're saying your brain is a square? You're correct. I wish it was a circle, though, because circles are like infinity, and they never stop. Um, you want to spin a Pokemon? Uh, let's go for it. Number two, five. Twenty-five is the number. Twenty-five is the is the number. And the <gasps> Pokemon is. Oh, look! Look, they're here now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you. It is my great honor to introduce to you the god of Pokemon, essentially. Uh, the Pikachu! one, the only Pikachu. 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 Pikachu, welcome to the show. Oh my gosh. So uh, wonderful to have you. Pikachu. Um, so Pikachu, I, I was not expecting having you here in the studio today. Uh, Pika Pika. I love, I love your outfit. Who are you wearing right now? Pikachu. Pika. Pikachu. Wow. Cong also, congratulations on winning Best Dress from the After Dark Rye Awards 2020. That, what, what an honor, truly. Pika, Pika! So, um, you know, you look great. You haven't aged a day. Swipe up, wood smash. But I have some questions for you, Pika Pikachu. Pika, pee! You have to go pee? That's fine. We can wait. Go ahead. Oh, you've already gone. That's fine. I have I have a carpet clean rug rug doctor or whatever thing. I it's, it's no big deal. Pikachu, what's your favorite Pokemon? Pika. Yourself? That's pretty self-centered. I'm fucking thinking here. Calm down. <laughs> Pikachu. Uh, Bulbasaur. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> oh, what's that? Bulbasaur is here. Oh my gosh. Baba Bulbasaur. Pikachu, Pika P. Baba Baba. Pika Pika. Baba Baba. Oh, make her Bulbasaur. Uh. Hi, Bulbasaur. You horn dog. Can you? You can go now. I, I'll take it from here. Bulbasaur. Um. Yeah, buddy, go go vine smash somebody else. Uh, uh, Pikachu, uh, what's what's your thoughts on your depiction in the anime? Are they accurate? Do you not like them? Are they good? What? Pika. <laughs> They're fairly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What's your real relationship between between you and Ash like? Ash, you know, he's like my dude. We like to hang out and just chill. Use Thundershock. Pikachu? <laughs> uh, we've had him on the show before, uh, but I was, the question originally was, what is Squirtle and Bulbasaur really like? I think we know what Bulbasaur is like, but what is Squirtle really like off the air? Squirtle? Squirtle, you know... He likes to get things wet. Make a squite all. Squite, 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 squite. Squirtle, please, can you not? Squite, squite. All right. I shoot so, him out of the room. Don't worry. We've had a couple lawsuits, you know. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> um, Squirtle, like, we try to keep him on the back burner, but all in all, Pikachu. <laughs> all in all? Pikachu! Ay! Ay! 
Hey, how's it, hey, how you doing? Hey, you know, I go Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu, uh, you know, I, as I said previously, you won a few awards from the After Dark Rye Awards, uh, but who gets your That's award right, for dog. 2020? <laughs> it's going to be a yeah for me, dog. Pikachu. <laughs> My word, award, which, uh, what? Don't worry about it. Uh, last question. Can you give me some salacious gossip? Um, Misty doesn't wear underpants. Holy shit, it's analyzing. <laughs> squite, squite. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. You guys stay the fuck out of here. Um, roommates, am I right? Uh, Pikachu, thank you so much for your time and being here. Um, <laughs> please feel free to stop by anytime you like. Uh, you're always a welcomed and honored guest of the show. Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. Later. Pika out. All my best to Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1. It evolves from Pichu when leveled up with high friendship and evolves into Raichu when exposed to a thunderstorm. Oh, friendship. Correct. In Alola, Pikachu will evolve into Alolan Raichu when exposed to a thunderstone. Um, Pikachu has a Gigantamax form. In Yellow, the starter Pikachu will refuse to evolve into Raichu unless it is traded and evolved on another save file. Pikachu is probably known as the mascot of the Pokemon franchise and a major representative of Nintendo's collective mascots. It is also the game mascot and starter Pokemon of Pokemon Yellow, Let's Go Pikachu, and it has made numerous appearances on the boxes of spinoff titles. It is also the starter Pokemon in Pokemon Rumble, Bla or Pokemon Rumble Blast and Pokemon Rumble World. And there's approximately 10 billion different uh, forms or versions of Pikachu Um Wait, did you say one billion? It, precisely. Uh, precisely. Wait, I went to say million. Fuck. I fucked up my own joke. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's at least a million <sighs> versions, different versions of Pikachu with various hats. I mean... A billion is a lot. Like, that's too much. If you put Pokemon Go... You, you overestimated, like, big time, Buster. Okay, well, let me see if I can find... Um, you know what I don't like? When uh, people me? very, very overestimate something. Like, hey, take a guess how long it took me to finish this project. Take a guess. Okay. Take take a guess, Brett. Take a uh, guess. What, what am I guessing again? Can you... Uh, <laughs> how long would it take me to finish reading this book? you say a billion years, I'm going to come over there and just hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, not a billion. You can't possibly live for a billion years, but a okay, billion years. Yeah. They rant over. Okay. Anyway, continue. So here, I'm going to go, th I'm going to quickly like rattle off the, the, the various forms of Pikachu. And even then I'm probably going to miss some. Are you ready for this nightmare fuel? Let's go. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, 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 uh. Pikachu. Pika, Pika. Okay. Pika. Hang on. I lost it. So you have Pikachu Libre, uh, Flying Pikachu, which is the one with the balloons, yeah, Festive Pika Hat Pikachu, Pika which is Santa Hat, Party Hat Pikachu, Original Cat Pikachu, Witch Hat Pikachu, Summer Style Pikachu, HF Custom Cat Pikachu, Flower Crown Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, Straw Hat Pikachu, Mimikyu Costume Pikachu, Beanie Pikachu, Party Hat 2020 Pikachu, Clone Pikachu, Safari Hat Pikachu, Flower Hat Pikachu, Charizard Hat Pikachu, Umbreon Hat Pikachu, Rayquaza Hat Pikachu, Lucario Hat Pikachu, World Cat Pikachu, Explorer Cat Pikachu, Winter Car Carnival costume Pikachu, New Year's hat Pikachu, and that's just Pokemon Go. Now, we also have cosplay Pikachu. I don't know what that is. Uh, various versions of Pikachu in a hat. What game is this? I don't even know. Um, oh, cosplay Pikachu has one, two, three, four, five different forms. So Rockstar, Bell, Popstar, PhD, and, and another Libre Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu in a cap includes Original Cap, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos, Alola, Partner, World Cap, which are ones that you could just uh, recently download in Sword and Shield. Um, 
you have the uh, fuck me. Yeah, I'm cutting it there. I'm sure there's more that I'm missing, but did you say cat or hat? Cap. Oh, cap. cap. I was like, I can tip it a cap, darling. It's like, when the hell was there a cat Pikachu? About like, a million so... years ago. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, and... there was a Libre Pikachu? Yeah, he's in Pokemon Go. He's one of the hardest ones to get because you got to get super high ranked up in, in uh, PvP, which I suck at personally. I do too. I hate doing it. So um, he was a reward. I don't know if he still is, but I think there was a time where. He's... The shiny Le- uh, Luchadora Pikachu was like the rarest Pokemon in the game. I don't no, know if that's he's in true season not. six. I think that's going on right now. Yeah, so maybe, so maybe he's still in there. Oh God. Yeah, because season seven starts Monday, the first of March. So yeah, you can get him right now. So yeah, so Pikachu's got a billion. I'm not gonna go over all of Pikachu's appearances in like the anime or the mangas. It's literally too many to count. Like, I mean, Pikachu's been such a, a centerpiece for Pokemon that like, if you don't know what a Pikachu is, who the fuck are you, and why are you listening to this show? Uh, but here's some trivia that I'm gonna casually scan through. Okay. Pikachu was designed by Atsuko Nishida, a core designer at Game Freak. The nation of New. Nui released a one dollar coin with its coat of arms on one side and <gasps> Pikachu on the other to promote the Pokemon franchise. Yes, and I was actually reading about this today. They actually have more, like you have currency there that, like they even have bills that have Pokemon on them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Wait, on. no, they it's Star Wars too. They have Star Wars currency. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, okay, the Star Wars connection answers my question as to like why were you looking up pokemon based currency in in the real world economics but now i know it's the star you wars said, thing you said nui right it's uh yes i don't, an, i'm not sure if i pronounced it right but yeah it's an island off of like new zealand Dope. like it's it's a really teeny tiny island and, and they're not allowing visitors right now which kind of sucks what, what? I, I can't imagine why it's 2021 <laughs> Uh, I know, P- it's over. Pikachu and its evolved forms both share the category name with Sandshrew, Sandslash, Rattata, and Raticate. They're all known as the mouse Pokemon, though Rattata and Raticate have also been called the rat Pokemon. They all have at least one family member with a regional form in Alola. Um, Veronica Taylor has said Pikachu is her favorite Pokemon. Nera, Sarah, Nera, Sarah Natocheni has as well shared shared with Mew. In 2008, Japanese researchers discovered a new protein that helps carry electrical impulses from the eyes to the brain and named it Pikachurin. According to them, it was so named for sharing Pikachu's lightning fast moves and shocking electric effects. Uh, The (gasps) main... Yes. Keep going. Just keep reading. I'll be right back. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade has included three Pikachu balloons. Flying Pikachu was the first flown from 2001 to 05 and was used in a morning rush hour test of wind conditions in Times Square after an incident involving an M&M's blue in 05 parade. It was last used in August 06, party of the decade in New York City's Bryant Park. The second balloon debuted in 2006, features glowing cheeks and chases a Pokeball balloon. The third, introduced in the 2014 parade, wears a green scarf and holds a small Pikachu-shaped snowman. Pikachu is the only core series starter Pokemon with a pre-evolved form, though Pokemon Yellow predates Pichu. According to a sneak peek at Pokemon, Pikachu can deliver a constant current of 1,000 amperes, and I'm pretty sure that's a lot. Pikachu has the most event-exclusive moves available to it. Additionally, Pikachu is the only Pokemon with two exclusive Z-moves. In the Japanese Pokemon Stadium, Pikachu is the only usable Pokemon that is not fully evolved. In Pokemon Yellow and from Generation 6 onward, Pikachu uses its cry from the anime, voiced by Iku Otani, before Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, it was the only Pokemon to do so in the core series games. Its battle cry differs from stat- from status or Pokedex screens. The starter Pikachu in yellow has unique voice clips in Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. Uh, Pikachu is the only core series starter Pokemon that does not have a 7 to 1 gender ratio. 
Black, white, black two, white two are the only core series games in which Pikachu cannot be obtained without transporting or an event. Pichu was the focus. Pikachu was the focus of a Pokemon Center collection in June 2014. Pikachu is the only not fully evolved Pokemon whose base stats increased in Generation 6 and also the only to receive more than one defense and special defense. Pikachu is the only Pokemon that can be caught in all three pinball titles, Pinball, Pinball Mini, and Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. Pikachu is only number 025 in both the National Pokedex and Alola Pokedex in Sun and Moon. Pikachu originally had a second stage evolution named Gorochu, which would have had two horns and fangs. Sugimori stated that while there was nothing wrong with its appearance, it was nonetheless omitted as the staff found that the game balance was better without a Pikachu's Gigantamax form. It's most like a reference to its earlier more rotunda Designed for Generation One Two, also known as Fat Pikachu, and then running a red light while speeding. <gasps> Pikachu is based on a mouse after its name. Its cheek pouches were also inspired by squirrels, which store food in their cheeks. The stripes on its back and its lightning bolt-shaped tail were given for aesthetic reasons. Its designer revealed in an interview that it was originally a Daifuku-like creature with ears. Its black ear tips are remnants from this original concept. If Pikachu's name means. Uh, Pika Pika, which is an onomatopoeia for sparkle, and Choo Choo, the sound of a mouse squeaking. It may also be delivered, derived from Peekaboo. Hannah, why don't you let me take a peek at you? And ladies Pika. and gentlemen. Peekaboo. We did Wait. it. Peekaboo. What, what was that thing Pe in the middle where you're like, keep going? Like you want, you sounded really excited. So this kind of goes with our, uh, my mom got me this. For, for my birthday <laughs> so like i like to run at night well mm -hmm. not at night like in the summertime i'll take dozer for a run with me <laughs> you like to run at night and hunt your victims down I so know. she got me this really cool flashlight yeah. like so people could uh so i can see because my flashlight wasn't working too well so see it's a flashlight uh-huh um but it's also fucking taser. jesus christ <laughs> My mom bought me a taser for my birthday. <laughs> why did I? Why did I fucking jump? I'm not even in the same house as you right now, and I fucking jumped. It's terrifying. What? What is something that I don't think Hannah should be in charge of? Electrical currents. This is bad news for me. I don't think we should play uh, uh, community days together anymore. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up twitching on the ground. Give me your fucking shinies. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. What, what, what? But yeah, I just thought that electric current, it kind of went with it. We need to spray just... paint it yellow. Oh, yeah. Well, Hannah, is... use... Wait, 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 wait. Don't put it away. Oh, wait, okay. wait. Don't... Hannah, use Thunderbolt. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this show. Pokemon After Dark Ride. Do that thing that I always say they do that no one ever does. Rate, review us, tell us you'll, you'll like us, you hate us. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I love, but I love you. Uh, Go dear buy listener. limited edition t-shirts. Yeah, before they're gone. Uh, check me out at twitch.tv slash breaker streams. I stream a couple times a week. Go check my schedule out. Um, lately, I've been streaming Dead by Daylight and Alan Wake and uh, pretty soon me and Jasmine AKA Meteor Doll is going to be streaming moving out together. Is has Alan Wake scared the shit out of you yet? Not nearly as much as Alien Isolation did. Oh um, yeah, that one's good. But yeah, uh, and then of course on Saturday we have our Jawsbreaker show where we watch like scary bad shark movies with you the community and then we record a podcast about it. So this upcoming Saturday is or, well, I don't know. When does the show come out? Who knows? Check it out. The, the, as of this recording, the, the next one that we're going to watch is called Planet of the Sharks, which looks like a water world slash Mad Max world overrun by sharks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that that's all for me. Hannah, do you have any things that you would like to say before we call her? Um. Stay safe. Wash your hands, you nasties. <laughs> you nasty. I like it nasty. Don't go um, on federal public property trying to invade the fucking capital, you fucking moron. And you know, desecration of a monument carries a minimum of 10 years in prison. As it should. It's supposed <laughs> to. Anyway, we have one week to go. 10 days, actually. Um, anyway, so just be safe, be nice, be kind, be patient. If you need help, I know there's some hotlines out there. Or reach out and message us, because if anybody knows about depression, it's Hannah. And Brett. And hey, 
if your butt hurts, go to the doctor and have him check it out and uh, do the thing. So after the doctor has stuck his fingers in your butt. <laughs> Dark Rye will come and offer you some rum, I guess. Oh, hey, we forgot to sing a song. <gasps> no. <laughs> All right. We got it. You know, that, it's only fair. We did the thing, but let's okay. let's go out on a song. You ready? We did the thing. Go out on a song. Go for it. Should all Pikachu's be forgot and never learn thunderbolt? Should all Pikachu's be forgot and days of tackles fall? For all Pikachu's, my dear, for all Pikachu's, not have Raichu's or Pichu's yet. We'll save them for season two. Bye, everybody. Bye. I didn't. Bye. <laughs>